My name is Rory Vandermeer. What I like about being a Skyhawk is that it's just a great team of girls. We're all like super inclusive with each other, just super fun. We enjoy each other's company and there's great competition on the team. My name is Abby Hornack. My favorite part about being on the Skyhawks basketball team is probably just that we're all so friendly and we all just like have a good time and we're all just like make good memories together and we're all funny. It's just a good time. My name is Maya Flindell. My favorite part about being on this team is probably just like um, the culture and like the work ethic that's here. I feel like we always kind of push each other to be our best on and off the court and we just have such a great group of girls that get along really well, which is really nice. Hi, I'm Dakota Wedman. My favorite moment as a Satchers basketball player was probably when we got to play in the provincial finals. It was like a really good game um, against like another really good team and it was just like a good experience. One of my favorite like funny or silly moments was probably when we were just like doing a scrimmage in practice and our coach uh, John Diedrich decided to like join and like we were just playing and one of the girls on our team like had a big knee brace and she like took him out and he fell and he got really mad. It was scary like at the moment but it's like funny now. For me personally, my favorite game was probably our provincial final as well. It was just like a really high intensity game and like something that we've been preparing for like all year. So it was good to like finally get to be in that and play it. Probably all my teammates, because a lot of them I've played with for like lots of years. So it'll be sad to like go to different schools and not be able to play with them anymore. What can I tell you about Dakota Wedman? I cannot tell you how we met. I have no idea. She went to Covenant Junior High. I went to Covenant Junior High. We ended up on the same team. I don't remember meeting her. I don't remember saying, hi, I'm Cameron. I think <laughs> we just kind of always knew each other through basketball. Before I really got close with Dakota, I thought she was hilarious. As soon as we got to grade nine, we got really close and I'm glad to call her one of my best friends. I love being teammates with Dakota because she works hard 100% of the time, like every time she steps on the court. She's so incredibly hardworking and you can always rely on her. She's fiercely loyal, she always has your back. And I mean, I think we have this like telepathy thing <laughs> that I can't really describe. Since junior high, we've always just kind of known how to play with each other. We, she knows where I'm gonna go, I know where she's gonna be, and it just kind of clicks for us, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I love being teammates with her because I love celebrating victories alongside of one of my best friends. To get to see where we came from together, from grade eight of Covenant, like barely winning a game, to winning provincial finals in grade 11 in her grade 10 year, it was, um, it was unbelievable and I'm so glad that we have been able to go on that kind of journey together. I'm so proud of her for going to U of A, it's amazing. When I think of Dakota, I just think of someone who's like 
always there, always hustling. She gets the ball, look like trying really hard. She has great like like energy on the team. She's just an all around good player. I remember being like on the volleyball team with her last year and it was just like super fun to be on more than one team with her just to see like different sides of who she can be. And she's just like always there. Like like when she'd get a rebound the ball would like she would always fight hard for it. She'd get it. She just like always mm, in the play. I think about how she is always like has something nice to say back to you. Like she's always encouraging. She like really hypes you up and stuff. Even though she's more of a quiet person, once you get to know her, she opens up, tells you a lot. She's funny and she's a great three point shooter. What sticks out for me about Dakota is I think she's one of those players who does all the little things really well. She gets after loose balls, she rebounds the ball so hard, she defends super hard, and she's definitely somebody that you want on her team. I asked the group last year, you know, a question about who you want going to war with you, and she's definitely one of those kids who um, I would want as part of my group because uh, she's going to battle and she's going to do whatever it takes for the team every time she's on the floor. Although she's like that on the court, she's such a caring uh, individual. She's a great person and uh, truly would do anything for a teammate. She's also kind of a little bit of a renaissance woman. She's very artistic uh, and she's got a lot of different things going for her. So it's not just basketball or athleticism. She truly is really well-rounded uh, and I am super excited to see her uh, move on and also play at the U of A next year. My name is Izzy Valerio. My favorite moment was probably when we won provincials because we were the underdogs going in and it was just so exciting. Um, funny or silly moment, probably when we went to Victoria. We just all hung out together in the room and stuff and then <laughs> And then Cameron would wake up at like 2 in the morning and eat food and wake us up just to tell us how the food was. My personal favorite game to play in was probably all the city championships just because a lot of people were there and we got to play our rivals most of the time. Honestly, everything. It was just such a great experience. Like we were so good as a team together and like we were all really close. It's just really fun. Okay, Izzy Valerio, happy graduation. You made it. I miss playing with you. It was always a fun, our car trips to and from games. Um, one of my most memorable moments being when you and me convinced Abby that it would be a good idea to eat um, two day old cold macaroni that was left in the car. Best of luck in these next few years. When I think of Izzy, I think she's a really good teammate. She definitely is the person to hype you up when you do something good. And then when she's on the court, she always looks to like make a really good pass like when people are cutting or just to be a really good teammate. My favorite memory with Izzy is probably the time I definitely couldn't make the layup because I was too far under the net. But I like definitely heard her like behind me calling me, so I had to like hit it off the backboard for her to get it but it did go over both of our heads because she was going too fast. So it's probably my favorite memory with her. I think she's a really good shooter. Like, I think she actually, like, when she gets it and she shoots, like, it's, she's a really good shooter. And she always just, like, she's always, like, she, like, really, she looks, like, for everyone and to see if there's any open passes or any, like, open cuts to the net or anything. Izzy 
is um, an awesome player. She shoots the three ball so well, we could always count on her to come in and knock down a shot for us. She loves using her length lots of times to block shots, even though sometimes I'd rather her just play defense. Um, her silly nature, her caring nature, I've actually loved getting to know her actually off the court, even more so than on. Uh, I knew and taught her brother, and so feel kind of a sense of connection to her and her family, um, and have learned a lot from her through kind of our Sky Talks off the court stuff. Uh, I wish her nothing but the best and can't wait to see her in court standing up for um, people. My name is Annecy Palmer. My favorite moment as a Satchez basketball player was winning the provincial championship. Um, a funny moment that we had was uh, whenever we um, got close to 100 points, um, we would um, whoever scored the 100th point would get all the spare change in our assistant coach's wallet. So we would all yell spare change and see who would get the last basket. I'll miss just being close with all the girls and getting to play for great coaches and playing with great teammates who have similar goals as me and um, all want to do well and win games. All right, Annecy, Hennessy, congrats on your commitment to UFC. Um, I don't think you could have picked a better program that suits you, to be honest. Um, your work ethic aligns with theirs from all that I've heard, and I think you're going to fit in really well from what I've seen. Um, continue to shoot that three ball because that will win you championships. And just keep working your ass off because brought you this far and I know it'll continue to help you just climb up that ladder um thanks for being such a great teammate in high school it was really nice having someone that I could depend on to hit those important shots and also just be a great teammate off the court always so supportive and easy to have a laugh with over stupid little things but so many little memories that will stay with me for a long time. So I'm very thankful for that. So best of luck. I miss you lots. My first impression of Annecy was that she was really quiet. I didn't know if she liked me at all. <laughs> we played pandas together. That was my first kind of introduction to her in U15 and I could not read her at all. I was like, does this girl even like me remotely? <laughs> but as soon as we got into high school together, I, she's the sweetest girl you're ever gonna meet. She's incredibly dedicated and hardworking. Just the best teammate, someone that you always want in your corner. I love being her teammate because I know that she's always gonna do what she can do. She's not, she doesn't fret about things she can't control, but the things she can't control, she does incredibly well. And she works at it and works at it and works at it and works at it. The girl's never not in the gym and that's something that I cannot wait for her to bring to our team next year. I love being teammates with Annecy because while well, she is very focused and very intense when it comes to basketball, she's also hilarious and 
playing with her is just so much fun because you can, you, we, we could do crazy things. I could throw her a crazy pass and I know she'd catch it and those types of things. And I knew she'd hit every shot that I gave her. Like that, it's so fun to play with those types of people and I can't wait to continue to play with her this year. I just think about like her work ethic, like in games and in practices, but also um, on her own. Like I feel like she's always in the gym trying to improve and is just like super humble and just a super consistent hard worker um, with like everything. I think I'll remember most about Annecy is that we did like a lot of one-on-one -on -one training together and I feel like just the way that we were able to push each other and really like work hard and make each other better is something I'll really remember and just being able to see like how hard she works and how she never complains and just like always tries her hardest is something that I will remember. I think Annecy's biggest basketball strength is like her offense and defense. I think she's super well-rounded and is always um, trying her hardest on defense, like is a super hard worker. She can guard every position. And then on offense, just being able to score from all three levels um, and just being super consistent in that way. I think she was hands down our most consistent player. She is a student of the game. She has unmatched work ethic. I'm super excited for her to be moving on and playing for the UFC next year. Um, I think one of my favorite moments that I think really define her and speaks to basically her as a person and a player is she sprained her ankle and through focus and determination she came back uh, only a week later so that she was able to play in our tournament that was coming up on the weekend and even though she wasn't 100% uh, she still was named player of the game or MVP uh, for that time frame. I think that speaks again to her determination and kind of mind over matter and how much basketball means to her and how she always wants to do well for her teammates. My name is Matlin. I think my favorite moment as a Satchis basketball player is probably going to provincials and city championship. My personal favorite game, I actually enjoyed playing against Paul Kane because of all the fans and everyone coming out. I think I'll miss the most of, I guess, the friends I've made. Madeline is a very hardworking individual who plays with loads of energy, which I didn't expect because when I first met her, she was very quiet and reserved and only really talked to Morgan. But as time went on and she was able to slowly be herself around the team more, she's a very lively and funny individual that I got the opportunity to room with, hang out with on, on and off the court. And I, I loved it. I loved being her teammate because she's so selfless. She is just always putting people in front of her and she plays with her heart on her sleeve like she will always give it her all in game and even on the bench she would just always be encouraging and always have encouraging words to say so i really love that about her so need i say more that's uh maddie d maddie defense maddie b maddie buckets and i hope wherever she goes whether she's playing university basketball or not that she does well so bye what i remember about maddie is that she never had anything negative to say like even if i did a bad play or something she'd always just be that feeling like, you got the next one you got it you're good like shake it off you'll be fine she is just like 
all around like a very nice person and I'm so glad to have spent a year with her. I wish it could have been more of a yeah, she's just really nice. Maddie I always like to call kind of a silent assassin because she's so quiet. You don't always know she's there uh, and this is off the court and also on. She'll kind of sneak in there and you won't know she's there, grabs a ton of offensive boards, um, but she does it really quietly. And um, she works super, super hard. She's always trying to improve her game. Um, she also shoots the three ball super well. Um, and I've really enjoyed getting to know Maddie off the court. Uh, her love for yoga uh, in the classroom was really awesome to see. Uh, and I think really adds to her kind of calm and composed nature. Uh, I know she's focusing on work moving forward, but whatever is in store is gonna be great for her as well. My name's Morgan Harris. My favorite moment, it's probably two moments, but like winning city champions twice in a row. My personal favorite game was playing against Germany and spanking them kinda, yeah. One thing I will miss about Satch's basketball is just meeting new people and the opportunities it gave me. The only way I can describe Morgan is as like a visual representation of like don't judge a book by its cover. She may be the size of an M&M but she packs a punch. I remember this one game where she literally out rebounded Yvonne. Yvonne's my height but yeah Morgan was able to get a rebound over her so that just shows the type of passion that Morgan plays with. And Morgan's ability to be explosive and play with confidence is what I say is her biggest strength. From grade 10, she had an impact on this team. I loved being her teammate because she loved playing the game and there was never a dull moment around her. And uh, she would always uh, match my energy and as I would do hers, like, that's uh, Mo Bamba for you. That's Mo Money, that's Mo Problem, that's Mo Blocks, Mo Fouls. She's really like my, my second sister and like, I hope that we can maintain a relationship after this like i hope that she does well at u of a and that i wish her the best of luck even though she's gonna lose to uvic but it is what it is bye like the biggest hard worker ever she is like so short and she's getting all the rebounds she is just like like she's always just there like you'll like you'll literally see nothing and then like mo will just like zoom like right there i think mo's biggest strength is like being positive or like like just working super hard and just trying to get the ball and making everyone included. My favorite memory of Mo was probably just like last year, her playlist was just like, would go from like hardcore rap to like TikTok music to like literally everywhere on the board. Thank you for teaching me everything I know and good luck with whatever you do next year. When I think about Mo, I think about her almost being an energizer bunny. I honestly don't think I've ever even seen her get tired or look like she's tired. Um, she's super tenacious, she's sneaky, she works super hard. I know people hate playing against her for sure. Um, I think a moment that defines her is uh, at the end of our city final game, uh, she stole the ball right at the end of the game and she does this often where she pretends she's running back on defense and then turns around and steals the ball. And 
I just remember the look on her face that she gets when she does it, and it's probably my favorite thing uh, about her. She's a true PG, which is hard to find. She's such a good distributor. Um, she's so great at running the offense. And uh, I also love that she really did extend her game uh, last year and really started to shoot the ball well as, um, in addition to being a true point guard. She's calm and collected and I'm super excited to see her move on and also play for the U of A next year. Thank you for spending the one year that we were able to play together. It really helped me improve. It was just great to be a part of a, an amazing team. Good luck and what comes in the future. The seniors taught me how to compete at a higher level in practice instead of just waiting for a game to do what we can do, just to do it with each other. I think the seniors taught me just to always work hard and be focused in practice and in games. I think they always came in and competed and worked really hard no matter what the circumstances were. So I think that's something that I can take forward with me. Thank you for always showing up and working hard and showing me what it's like to always be focused and to come in and do your best all the time. Thanks for everything. Good luck. In the future. Go, Go Skyhawks. Skyhawks. Hello seniors. I wanted to wish you congratulations on an amazing high school career. I know it's not ending the way that you guys hoped, but I do hope that you take pride in the amount of hard work and dedication you put into the last three years. I look forward to seeing where you guys all go, whether you're continuing basketball or in your academic journey. I know that with the amount of hard work you put into basketball, it's only gonna translate into your life. I wanna thank you for always making me feel like a part of the team. I know I wasn't always there full time, but it was always something I look forward to. I loved watching the amount of talent you guys had, and the thing that I love the most is the amount of dedication you had to yourselves as basketball players and to your teammates. I hope that you can look back fondly on the memories that you have with your teammates, your coaches, and the amount of experiences you gained while playing the game that you love. So I feel blessed to have been able to coach these five uh, really amazing young ladies. Um, you know that I love quotes and I found one by Pat Summit that said, it's about the relationships and not the championships. And although uh, we love to win and you know we have a culture of that here at Satchez, I think the part that is the most disappointing for me this year is the time that I miss getting to know each of you. And you know that will be the part that I'm the most sad about as you guys move on, um, as much as I love you know competing with you guys it's that downtime when i get to know you uh, it's so different getting to know kids through athletics versus in the classroom and i feel privileged to have been able to coach you for one year i just wish it could have been longer i wish you all nothing but the best and can't wait to see what all of you do in the future <laughs>